totally and brutally honest here. Sean Corbin makes Valerie Brudov look like Ivan Drago. It's as simple as that. He's beat what's in front of him tonight. He faces me. He's gonna visit mental demons again. And let's get let's get something straight. Come to me, mate. You come to me. Next time, ain't no judges gonna be needed. I'm gonna do worse than Kovalev. I am gonna do worse than Kovalev. Saturday night, mate, you better hold it together. I'm gonna smash it near you to pieces, mate. I'm gonna hit him. When he gets in the ring and we get 10 ounce gloves on, I'm gonna smash his head to bits. I'm gonna do it November the 30th against all odds. No matter what people say, the journalists write what you want. All as I'll say is tune back in and then look at me on December the 1st when I am world champion. It's as simple as that. I'm willing to die in that ring. It's as simple as that. I am willing to die. I'm willing to die, Zachy. Is he? You fucking rat! All right, let's uh, get into the nominations. We have quite a few of them. Let's see here. Oh my God. Ah, get on to that one. Let's see here. Nicholas White says. Can you hear you, Matty? Can I come closer to your mic? Can you hear me? Yeah, when you go. Yay. Uh, let's see here. I'm having a hard time reading this one because it's small as could be. Uh, let's it's see here. Then. Yeah, I got him on. This man, this type is small. <laughs> the real and only truth in the division is Shakur Stevenson. The kid is 10 times the fighter of all the young sons. Young guns, I think he's in there. This is coming from a hardcore tank fan, but Shakur Stevenson is an unbelievable boxer fighter. I'm nearly 50, and Shaq is the closest I've seen to a Sugar Ray Leonard in years. Hmm. That is certainly an opinion. Let's see here. Time. Uh, <laughs> let's see here. Who's this one from, Andy? It's right underneath the live. Terry, uh, Terry would faint. All right. Let's see here. For uh, Tyon Booth received a voice message off Ivani Bridges, but he hasn't read it yet. What <laughs> do I not know about this one? Andy, background. Well, voice message, and he hasn't read it yet. So I kind of gives you the kind of insight as to, you know, he's not, read the, the, he's not read the voicemail yet. But Ebony Bridges basically gets her chebs out for the boys on Twitter and that, just to kind of hype a bit of generation for her. He uh, hasn't fought anybody. Ozzy's a big fan of hers, so I think Ozzy might come in here and kind of talk about her. Tell you what. Ability and stuff. But Ozzy, Tell you what. Sure Rob, Rob's coming to say is he would. Oh. Tyan <laughs> Booth got a thousand pounds on his super chat when he did, last did his live. A thousand pounds is a big difference between there's a 995 pound difference between Tyan Booth's super chat hauls and ours. So we're getting into the belly of the week territory there now, lads. If you want to throw in a vote or anything, stick a little super chat in the chat there. Good man. Oh man. Let's see here. Woo from Orion Publishing. Out in May, the first book from boxing hero Tony Bellew. I want to take readers into the ring and help them understand that even though it's an extreme environment and somewhere they're unlikely to ever be, there's plenty they can learn there. And you can pre-order that today. Uh, yeah, at uh, smarturl.it backslash uh, Tony Bellew book. It's coming out in May 2021. Hmm. I don't, I don't know what to think about this. I don't know that I'm as bothered by this as others you know well it's it's not that matty it's just a case of that tony he wants to you know yeah. stay out of the limelight he doesn't want people bothering him i mean i mean no the, wonder the one... you say to finish his book yeah the... <laughs> yeah yeah there must, an, there must be an error as well on the, the front cover as well because as far as i'm aware he only wanted to be called anthony, anthony Bell. yeah who's wrote this yeah i mean who is tony bell you is it is it his twin brother wouldn't that have been a better know, title but... Wouldn't that have been a better title? Who is Tony Bellew? No, 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 no. I think, I think, I think the one that got posted out by, uh, well, I'll not say who last night, but it should be titled. Everybody has a plan until they win a vacant title. <laughs> <laughs> poor, poor kid, I love that one. Oh man, um, I want to know: Is the book full of fucking Mike Tyson quotes, or is it just the one on the cover? <laughs> <laughs> Does Mike Tyson get a cut? Oh fuck's sake! Is he just like sellotape the picture of himself to it? when you when you read it? It's all about stories about fighting Trevor Barbic and being in a hangover. Yeah, uh, see, see, I think it's this. It's these twelve things boxing teaches you about life. Well, the one that Box Asylum's actually publishing just now actually says twelve ways to disappear from public life. So, Anthony, 
We'll leave you alone. <laughs> How to lose Coogan in 10 days. <laughs> <laughs> well, some, somebody will have to let me know what the uh, carrot exchange rate is on the purchase of that book, and uh, we'll see what we can do. Who, who the hell is this one? For? Ebony Bridges. Fuck me. Look at that. You were there. She, she is a flower. She isn't soft. When her petals fall, they hit like bullets. Shane right replies, half woman, half warrior, delicate <laughs> and strong. Hell, have no fury. Oh, you you Romeo, Romeo, you. oh the thirstiness of that tweet. What a Romeo on a He's That's just the whole page of fucked up. That, sorry. <laughs> the can grammar just is just novel on that, and then he can't even like get the fucking saying down correctly. Like, uh, uh, yeah. Look at the, the way he spelled warrior. Look at the way he spelled my, warrior. My, my hunch is that uh, <laughs> our, our our buddy Shane there has uh, never had lips of any sort around his penis. That's my hunch. <laughs> <laughs> Man, she, she attracts some very, very odd people. Yeah. Every tweet she puts up, there is some weirdos in that comment. And I think Shane, you can follow him at Seeker four three five zero two four two six. Um. Yeah. Just, just go and look at him. Um. Ah, well, I I looks, else. Looks like a cock on that one, by the way. <laughs> She, yeah, she does look like an attractive woman from that picture, and that's just a face shot. There you go. Let's see here. All right. So uh, let's see here. The new athletic pound for pound list is live. My personal top ten. Canelo, Annoyed, Spence, Crawford, Fury, Lopez, Estrada, Taylor, Ioka, Lomachenko. Let's see, and that's for Mike Coppinger. Jack Kennedy, not only talks a lot of sense, but the man does not have Usyk in top 10, is absolutely mind-boggling. It was life or death, which is not a Coppinger, Coppinger's a fucking clown. What, it, you just can't take anything he puts out there with just serious. The, the guy what? is a clown. I mean, to say he went life and death with Chisora, that, that's just a lie. That's not even a bad take on a fight. That is a lie. Yes, Chisora early on in the fight performed performed better than we thought he could, but there was not. I did not see any life and death, nothing at all. Fuck me, the guy I, is just. I think what happened with that fight, and the problem with the way that because people so wrongly judge fights a lot of time, people were so hell bent on the idea that Usyk was going to stop Chisora, and like. Like, who the fuck has stopped Chisora that wasn't a big guy that could swing? You know, like, Hell David yeah. Hay was probably the smallest guy that could that knocked him out. And David Hay threw fucking missiles, man. You know, so, I don't know, man. People just end up getting it wrapped up in their heads the way somebody's supposed to win a fight, and from there they just kind of, you know, blow them apart. That said, I'm not that high on who's stick at heavyweight. Yeah, he's still, he's still going to be in Pampafan top 10, though, for me. Um, but I, I actually want to, and it's from the chat as well. I just want to where uh, Johnny Horsecock Nelson has nominated the actual tweeter um, of the post, Jack Kennedy. So as well as Mike Coppinger being nominated for Belly of the Week, Jack Kennedy for actually saying that Coppinger talks a lot of sense. <laughs> so sorry, Jack, you, you've actually flagged this one to us, but at the same time are being punished for saying that Mike Coppinger talks sense. So, yeah, sorry, you, you can't get away with saying something like that. The horse cock has spoken. Let's see here. Oh, dear. What did Ricky say? This day, 10 years ago, on January 20th, 2007, I made my Las Vegas debut and defeated Juan Urengo on a unanimous point decision, capturing the IABF light welterweight title win my fourth world title and what am i missing underneath this andy do you know what the hell who put this one up there uh, oh so basically <laughs> ricky hans uh, he's got his maths wrong basically so uh, he's saying 10 oh my years God, ago it's 13 years ago what the fuck it's fucking longer than that mate no 14 yeah. years fuck it's yeah, 2021 right. i'm sorry i'm still stuck in 2020 nothing has fucking changed 
<laughs> so, so, so Rick, Ricky's Ricky's like missed four years of his career or his life somewhere down the line there. So, I so that's a uh, that's directly for Ricky in that. Uh, Ten years ago, he he, he fought uh, Juan Arango. God, no, I remember that fight, and God love him if um, if through all of his partying that he has only lost about four years of his memories. I think the fucking uh, that would have uh, been on the underside of most guesses. All right. Let's see here. Novel Boxeanos says, Floyd beat an amateur Canelo. Canelo at his peak would beat the absolute dog shit out of any version of Floyd. <laughs> Fuck sake. Oh, man. Uh, I, uh, I would Wait, take... See, that's, that's about for I would take... One. I would take Floyd in his 147, 154 jaunt over Canelo at 154 and even at one, the 155 Canelo weight all day long. When you get into middleweight, I still think middleweight was where size really came into an issue, and I don't know. But, yeah, what the fuck are you talking about? Didn't Canelo have, like, 40 fights when he fought Floyd? Yeah, it wasn't a green, but, um, you know, a lot of people looked to the fact that it was his age and that, but, fuck Floyd's one one of the generation type fighter and that, you know, and you can only say that you know Kenley went away and learned from that fight, but to say that he was absolutely green is just absolutely wrong because it was you know there's no like one fifty four champion for a you know a fair bit beat Mosley. I can't remember if he beat Mosley before. Beat Tra- he beat Trout you know. before that as well, hadn't he? Beat Trout, beat Co- no, he didn't beat Cotto. I was middleweight, sorry. Mm. Um, but, no, he he'd been in a few folk like he had been in a few. Yeah, he, uh, yeah, that's, I don't know. People, people underrate Floyd, man, and they're, they're overrating Canelo a bit. He is putting together a really nice resume, but it's, man, it's, it, you can pick through it and, and you can see why they pick pretty much each and every person on the list. Oh, boy. Dimitri Salida. Let's see here. <laughs> Honored to announce the next historic fight in the journey of the greatest woman of is that ge- the gre- yeah, of all time. greatest woman of all time yeah at Clarissa Shields as she headlines her first pay-per-view versus undefeated champion uh, Marie Takari for the undisputed junior middleweight world titles March 5th live How much from is Federal that? Sports Center uh, How much is that pay-per-view? I, I can't even see how much it is on that thing My guess I is think this is going to do Negative numbers. There was just a couple of people <laughs> buying it, maybe want their money back. Who the fuck is going to pay pay per view to see Clarissa Seals fighting? Come I'm on, trying, man. I'm trying to find. I'm trying to find that actually. Give me a second. Yeah, I'm looking for the price now. Hmm. Well, I don't even know if it's also just that or the fact oh. that Salada thinks that Clarissa Shields is going to be in the discussion for the greatest women fighters of all time. Do you guys think that? Oh, we say it all the time, though. I mean, it's when is Keller that discussion ever happen? <laughs> <laughs> we need. It's, it's going to take at least, in my opinion, and for what it's worth, I think it's going to take at least two, maybe even three generations of women women fighters coming and going before the the, the talents there, the stables there, you know, the numbers is there because you know, you remember, they're trying to catch up with a hundred hundred odd years of professional prize fighting here. You know, in, in, in a matter of a few years, it's come on leaps and bounds. It's no recently, it's just recently actually, they actually uh, fought in the Olympics. So it's becoming more of an inclusive sport. But um, yeah, it's, it's going to take out. Uh, I think okay. by the time, by the time I come and go, when you go, mate. Uh, so it's going to be twenty nine ninety five. And will be distributed what? by in demand to all major cable satellites. In demand. <laughs> what are the other fights on the card? Who cares? So 30, Who fuck is watching it? Uh, yeah, I couldn't care, mate. I couldn't care. You won't catch me paying L fights. I couldn't care. I couldn't care. Shields yeah, just and- dips. At, what? What is a natural weight? Because I mean, this is at one fifty four. Well, didn't she fight at super middleweight? Like a couple, yeah, a couple I, of I think so. Like, just the, it just shows, like, again, we're getting this into this debate about women's boxing. It's certainly improving. 
you know, like more people are turning over and you're seeing some like I say better quality. But the depth is just not there. And you know, they can talk about her achievements and things like that, and they try and, you know, pass her off as, you know, the greatest woman of all time, but no one gives a toss about her. No one gives a fuck. Um and I mean thirty dollars, I mean yeah, and no doubt some people will pay for it. Uh, but be real, a lot of us are complaining. If, that, I mean, if, the, if, the, if the heavyweight fucking championship in the world was twenty five quid sterling over here, a lot of people are complaining. <laughs> and fucking Clarissa Shields. Is the, the, the thing is, so, no, nah, but Rob, what you've got to remember is that's in dollars. I don't know what it will be on fight TV over here. Well, but in the US, what what is it in the what is it in the US? Usually fifty dollars. Sixty dollars. I think it's seventy, it's so she's half price, but still, it's like thirty dollars is what, like twenty quid. <laughs> you know what I mean? Twenty, twenty-two yeah, quid, something oh, like that. I, was, I mean, I don't even know who that <laughs> opponent is. I mean, I couldn't give a toss. She's undefeated, but who even is it? Ludicrous. Yeah, it's just it's one of them. It's one of them. And look, I'm I'm not a massive fan of uh, of women's boxing, but if it means to say that the great Clarissa Shields isn't the greatest woman of all time, I'll happily say that. Because I certainly think Katie, Ch Katie Taylor's achievements are uh, far superior. Right. Well, and Anne Wolf would have knocked her fucking head off. Well, without doubt, without doubt. Can I just say something, baby? I know you're listening. Danny67 in the chat, shut the fuck up or you're going to get blocked and booted for the fucking chat. He's right. already banned. Banned or oh, taken care of. You've been moaning and bitching all night on that chat, right? Anybody can say what they want on the chat, right? But don't take fucking liberties, man. Shut the fuck up. Up, they have been <laughs> shut the fuck up permanently. Let's see here. Uh, Deshaun Desai, most overly hyped British fighter right now, Josh Taylor. Uh, I, I out all the list, you're gonna pick him out of all. Yeah, of them. I yeah, I don't understand this whatsoever. Whether it's just a troll and it, and if it is, it's worked, but I, I honestly don't see how you can overhype Taylor because he's. His achievements and you know his caliber caliber of opponents speak for themselves. You know he's one of the only you know champions that's not as hard. Really, slightly from memory, he's not really had a gimme defense, has he? You know, like you know one of these tin cams or anything. And from memory, he's not had a gimme defense. I think his lesser fights. I mean, he fought that American, didn't he? What was his name? That uh, Ryan Martin. I don't even think that was for a world title, but that was part of a. Um, that was part of that super series competition. So, you know, he picked him. But apart, oh, Kong Song. I kind of forget about him, that fucking tie. But yeah, most overrated British fighter right now. Everyone's allowed an opinion, but not that one. Josh Kelly. Josh Kelly. Fucking Billy Joe. Saunders yeah. is more over, over, overhyped compared to Taylor. There's, yeah. you, as you said, Josh Kelly, um, Connor Ben. You, you know, the, there's a list as long as your arm. Who you know, people are overrated. But fuck me, Taylor. You know, a, a legit world champion. He'll probably go on. You know, to to he'll beat Ramirez. <sighs> Certainly not overhyped. That that is just. I'd, I'd love to hear an explanation more than anything, just to see what's behind it. You know, no, you know why. Why he believes that Taylor gets you know talk about him and it's it's all justified. Well, people are allowed opinions and the internet lets them share it with all of us. Uh, let's see here. Mayweather, <laughs> Mayweather for slogan Paul is reportedly being postponed due to lack of interest. <laughs> 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 I love Floyd. Oh my Damn, I think that's funny. That's great. You know, it, you can only feed people so much bullshit for so long. You know, it's fucking ridiculous. Let's see here. <laughs> Let's see here. Okay. At uh, Company Nelson 2. Uh,. Tony always calls it straight down the middle. No nonsense at all. It's why his book will be the second best-selling boxing autobiography of the last decade after Eddie's. 
I'd love to see him on commentary for the Fury AJ fight. He's he's fucking his autobiography is been out for like five years. He talks about his dog <laughs> getting fingered and stuff like that. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, that was good. Uh, um, anyway, there's a new autobiography coming to the shelves. I don't know if you heard about it. It's from a very reclusive writer. Uh, <laughs> I'm so pretty that's what for. Oh. Let's see here. Bernard Hopkins oh, yeah. said in a uh, in a video, Oscar beats Triple G by unanimous decision. <laughs> right now, that's what he thinks. I listened to bits uh, of it, actually. Off, it was me, it was me that nominated that one, and I actually listened to five minutes of it. I was like, nah, man, that's just that's just, that's just too wild for me, so be You're home. a good company, man, Bernard. If, if, are, they, are they serious about this Oscar comeback? Like, is this real? It's because it's getting talked about more and more. Like, it's Oscar making a comeback. He's like, fucking, you want him to die? Like, what the fuck are you saying? Like, like you come should, on. Like, you, you, you gotta ask me, uh, Oscar, are you sure you want to come back and not back come? <laughs> Jesus. Ba -da 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 -da. Move on quickly. Yeah, Ryan Garcia lost his blue tick and he's devastated. Oh, I yes. just want the truth, and if I'm wrong, I'll gladly apologize and take back anything that was false. But until that, I'll be waiting. If they ever take my whole account down, just know that I didn't break any rules, and I simply voice my love for God, Jesus, boxing. I've been worse on this platform, yet nothing's taken down. Shame on the toxic platform called Twitter. Clean it up. No matter what, I'm still going to always spread the word of God and Jesus. A verification don't make me. Jesus is king of kings. God is good. What rule did I break to get unverified, Twitter? So Ryan Garcia had a wonderful <laughs> meltdown on uh, on Twitter because they this took guy, away his check mark. He was he's born raging. again no, this week or something, wasn't he? Didn't he get he got to put out for him getting baptized and that? Like so he's gone on um gone on a bit of a Twitter uh expression of it of his uh, newfound love for Jesus Christ, and then he's lost his blue tick overnight. <laughs> he's wondering is it part of a wider Twitter uh, satanic cabal to stop the word of the Lord. So who knows, like who knows, but uh, Ryan Garcia, it'd be good to get him, see him get a bit of direction. Maybe he could do with a bit of religion in his life. He might stop going around knocking everyone up now that he's a firm believer of Christ. He might save himself from marriage um, and get himself back on the right path, like, because he's uh, excited. <laughs> a good prospect. Catholic boy. Yeah, just fucking stop fucking shooting up the club, like, you don't have to fucking make everyone pregnant, man. Relax, like. <laughs> no. no, 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 no. You know, you know the problem with, you know the problem with Catholics is because they believe that because they can go to confession, you know, and uh, they can be absolved. That absolution shit, man. Catholics try to get away with all sorts of fucking crap, man. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, Michael Benson. Oh, Tony no. Bellion. Let's see here. He's uh, a Tony Bellew quote. Yeah, good old Anthony. If Fury don't get that decision versus Klitschko, would that have been a big shock? I've seen bigger robberies in Germany. It was a close fight. I think Fury won, but he beat him in the dullest, worst performance of the heavyweight titles I've seen. I think this is a continuation of him trying to explain to people why Joshua's victory over uh, Klitschko was better than uh, than uh, uh, Fury's, which is uh, absolutely fucking ridiculous. Uh, man, I... That I still look back like the, the seeing Vladimir Klitschko get out boxed. That was fucking weird, man. Let's see here. Oh God, Lennox's oh, form, former trainer Harold the Shadow Knight uh, is joining Dillian White's camp for the Pavetkin rematch, and he says that Dillian is similar to Lennox. In what way? Uh, they're black men that box in the heavyweight division. <sighs> John O'Carroll. Oh, man. <laughs> I love how you have people who never put on gloves in their life, but yet they tell you how to fight and what you should do. Fuck off. Uh, and Joe Dundee. <clears throat> I'll just mention them. <laughs> Fuck off. He said that in proper Dublin accent as well. Fuck off. <laughs> no, John, I don't agree with that one, dude. That's uh, uh, 
We've already shown that was a flawed argument. You can take that to other sports as well. Look at Mourinho and Wenger never fucking played football. They do like two top managers, so it's just one of them things, man. Well, a couple mistakes in there too, but he boxes. Let's see here. Oh my god, he said more. Oh, it's 16A and 16B. Shit. And if you think about it, you lower your own immune system, then it leaves you open to catching and being more affected by it because your body is already put under pressure by wearing a mask. <laughs> we boxers know our nutrition is what is good and not good for our body. That's it, bro. Uh, you should have fucking called in Anthony Joshua, Tony Bellew, fucking all the boys. Get them in. They know their nutrition. Forget about the fucking scientists, Pfizer and these guys. They know nothing. Get John O'Carroll and the boys on the fucking job. They'll sort it out. <laughs> Oh man, yeah, and and this is a good example of why we're losing far more people than we should because uh, you know everybody's a fucking uh, g- you know genius despite their lack of eight years of schooling and forty years of experience to get you to those levels. But uh, you know, on with your bad self. Do what you got to do. Uh, let's see here. And uh, let's see here, uh, Gavin Stevens sends this to us, says, Belly of the Week for this horrendous interview on IFL, says he's sure Dillian White and Billy Joe haven't taken PEDs because I know them, they wouldn't. Literally a minute later, he says, ban Kovalev for life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's Anthony again. Anthony! <laughs> <laughs> you know, he, he just... He just keeps cropping up, doesn't he? The, the man appears. that doesn't run the limelight, he keeps cropping up. He appears from nowhere. Yeah. You know, they said, can you find them? I mean, Christ, can you imagine if Tony was in crime? Sorry, Anthony was was on trial for war crimes. Never find them. He would never have been in jail. <laughs> Did you see um, the, the guru uh, tweeted, <laughs> tweeted a screen cap of the... Uh, the fat shaming insult that Tony gave yeah. a couple of years ago and then posted a picture of Billy who's sitting on an exercise <laughs> bike beside it. Absolutely fucking brilliant. Oh man, mm-hmm. what a guy, Billy. Like, fucking please don't, don't leave the limelight, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Keep telling us what you think. Kovalev should be banned for life. All right, man. Well, gentlemen, uh, that was the last one for the for the week. Uh, what are your I've votes? Got one. I've got one. I've got oh, one Bro- yes, your I've, submissions. I've got one from Broner for uh, his comment for saying he's, 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 he's going to try and fight three times this year and he's probably going to be a world champion by his next fight. So this is a guy who hasn't won a fight in four years. He's going to be world champion in his next fight. Adrian Broner. <laughs> He, he's thinking he might have three fights this year, and I just recall, recall a song for one of them, and it goes, Breaking rocks in the hot sun, I fought the law, and the law won. <laughs> you guys yeah, got any no, other submissions? No, just Bruno from you. It's been, it's been quiet this week in that as well with the lack of... Well, Eddie Hearn, sorry, Eddie Hearn. I'll put Eddie up for that Dolce and Cabana fucking look that he put on. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and basically losing one of his fighters his world title because he actually got his his opponent in a mandatory position again as well. So either Ned, uh, so I've actually uh, yeah, Eddie and Bellu have um I've got a an excerpt there from Bellu's book. It says uh, the first chapter says everyone has a plan till they get punched in the face. But unless they got punched in the face at the level that I've got punched in the face, <laughs> then their opinion is not worth a carrot. So everybody go and pick that up. Everybody's got. Plan to leg a punch in the face by Tony Bellew. 12, 12 ways to win a vacant title. <laughs> uh, God bless you, Anthony. Uh, you, is, you guys got any other submissions? That's me. All right. Hearing no. none. Your votes. Who you got, Ozzy? Um, well... <sighs> I think you can point. just consider Bellew uh, or, or, uh, to be a body of work. I think that's I was fair. Gonna say, yeah, he, he just he is the gift that keeps on giving. Um, <laughs> Anthony, Tony Bellew, just, just no, I, I just don't see how he, he, he can't get it. And I think it's only right, you know, just so we're not, you know, discriminate, we combine all of his nominations because <laughs> they were all excellent. Uh, and just look at him. Yeah, I mean, from you know, from releasing that book to just to just staying in the limelight. I mean, look at him on on screen now. He's being held against his will in that room. Um, you know, they put headphones on him and they're just making him talk. 
making him appear on these podcasts and just produce these autobiographies when he just wants to be left alone. <laughs> yeah. I really do feel for him. Really it's really tough, it's man. Not it's not his fault. Imagine Imagine writing, writing an autobiography. Oh, imagine writing an autobiography at gunpoint by the SAS. It's going to be tough, man. You're going to fucking. <laughs> yeah. see, 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 that, see that picture, eh? See that picture of Tony right now, and like you, you, you could caption that. So, Tony, how many fingers uh, did she take last night? Yeah, you guys live on the same island with the son of a bitch, man. You guys, you're in far more danger running your mouth than I am. Good times, good times. Uh, Andy, are you in agreement with uh, with Ozzy yeah, on that one? Yeah, it's good, yeah. Anthony. Good. I, I want to leave him alone though. I don't want to give him all this publicity. He wants to be with the with the limelight and all that sort of stuff. So, but just leave me alone, miss. Yeah, leave me alone, no, no. mate. You know. Yeah. Rob, who you you go you going with it's the with be, has to be fucking Bellu, man. Holy shit, has to be Bellu. And it's like I said, don't stay out of the limelight now, dude. Don't even fucking pretend to stay out of the limelight. Stay in the limelight and keep giving us this great content week in, week out. Kovalev should be banned for life on a podcast <laughs> promoting his new autobiography when he just wants to be left alone. Oh, but the best thing, Saunders it, and White wouldn't have taken Peds because he knows them. He knows them, so therefore they are not guilty. But Kovalev, <laughs> because he doesn't know him, should be banned for life. Oh. You know, I think we should make a deal uh, with, with Tony. You know, if he goes silent for six months, no interviews or anything like that, we'll change the title. You know, I'm sure so, you know somebody else will come to take that crown. Um, <laughs> no, they fucking if, won't. <laughs> if, if you'd like to come on and promote your book, though, uh, Anthony, we'd uh, we'd love to have you. You know. The door's always sure, open, yours, man. Mate. Evening, Anthony. If you want to come yeah. on, you want, Eddie Not wants off. to make his his part two appearance. He's welcome on if he wants to jump on there during COVID times. Give Coogan a break, you know. Put Coogan down for a few minutes, and Umar and these guys wants to come on the asylum. You know, if he's sick of the fucking promoter dancing in the videos, come to boxing asylum. Absolutely, absolutely. It's uh, we we welcome all comers. Uh, so, well, it appears this week we are going to be giving it to uh, Mr. Anthony Bellew. Uh, I guess at the end of the day, we know you're uh, listening. By the way, Tony, just get yeah. it over with, man. Come on the pod. We know you fucking listen to the pod, man. You gave yourself up. We know that you listen. Like, just come on next week. There, we'll have a crack with you. Come on. Yeah, and uh, you are this week's winner. The way I see it, uh, you know, uh, to uh, to be the champ, you got to beat the champ, and nobody's body of work uh, came close this week. So, uh, Anthony, congratulations.